Hey everyone, happy 2017. I'm Vanessa Simpkins from TakeYourPowerBackNow.com. I wanna make this video for you all about three keys to increase your abundance here this year in 2017 and why it's crucial, crucial to your success that you up-level your concept of self. What do I mean by that? What, what, what are you talking about? I'm telling you, this is really where the rubber hits the road. If you have been trying to get this law of attraction thing to work, you maybe read books, watched the movies, you've maybe hired a coach or done some kind of online program and you're still kind of wondering, how does this actually all work? I'm gonna share with you here in this video. So let's get to it with the first key to increasing your worthiness, your abundance, your deservingness this year is your concept of self. So let me explain what I mean by this. I run a 10, 10K in 30 day skyrocket your confidence and cash flow mentoring program for amazing spiritual women entrepreneurs. I've been doing this now for eight years. And the women I see who really kick it up and just skyrocket their success are women who are willing to follow this recipe to take personal responsibility for all of the thoughts that they think and really revamp their mindset. So here's why it's crucial for you to have a, a great and up-leveled concept of self. Um, if you don't, for example, if you have these thoughts in your mind that are totally unconscious, let's be honest, nobody would screw themselves up on purpose or sabotage themselves purposefully, right? So these have to be unconscious, I call them gremlins, voices that say, I'm not worthy, I'm a fraud, I don't deserve it, who's gonna like me? <sighs> All of those little things, these are actually concepts of yourself. So if you have a concept of self, for example, that says I'm a fraud, I don't deserve it, how in the hell are you gonna get into action to actually do the things that the books tells you to do or the mentors or the coaching program tells you to do. If you have these, flaw, I call them flawed concepts of self, you'll never be able to put into action the things that you, you very consciously, with your conscious mind, decide you're going to do. And this is what people do, right? New Year's happens, they write down a bunch of goals, they join the gym, and then a month later, end of February, it all falls to shit, all falls to hell because they haven't gone in and corrected their concepts of self or beliefs about themselves. So this is absolutely key, key, key. Your, your inner world is always outpressing your beliefs. Your inner world, your inner mind, your beliefs is always outpressing and this is what, this is what we call reality. This is, here it is. So the key to success, number one, is believing in yourself. One of my favorite all-time affirmations is I believe in myself, I love myself, I'm a winner. These are foundational, foundational beliefs. I believe in myself. That means you believe in your ability to create the life that you want. You believe that you, you can figure it out, even if it gets hard. You believe in yourself. I'm a winner. That knocks out everything. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I never lose. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I win in money. I win in life. I win in love. I'm a winner. Hands down, knocks every single gremlin right off the plate. I'm a winner. And I love myself. You know, many, many people, including myself, you know, have gone through life and we picked up these shitty beliefs from our parents, teachers, from the past. And unless you go back in and, and take, a, take a look and make a new decision around that, that past is creating your future unconsciously. So that's why it's crucial. It's crucial if you're not where you want to be yet to take a look at your concepts of yourself. What do you believe to be true about yourself? Not consciously, unconsciously, subconsciously. What are the decisions that are in there? It's, it's imperative. It's crucial to your success. So that's the first key to increasing your abundance, right? Changing those concepts of self, those conversations about yourself, the beliefs about yourself. Second key is repetition. Repetition, repetition is king. I remember way back when, when blogs were really popular, everyone's like, oh, content is king. Repetition is mastery. Repetition is king, why? Because that is how you create a new belief. That is how you reprogram your subconscious. That's the best news. You don't even have to be smart. You just have to be a little bit stubborn or you know, persistent. 
So I stopped reading a whole bunch of books last year, the year before that, and I just read the same book over and over and over and over and over and over and over again to get it. Same with my affirmations. I read them over and over and over and over and over, the same ones over and over and over and over all year long. Boom, and I have it. So the second key to increase your abundance is repetition. It's not learning more shit. It's, it's a learning how to, how to really impress upon your subconscious the, 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 the beliefs and the ideals, and the concepts of self that you want. And that happens through repetition. The best news. You don't even have to be smart. You just got to be a bit stubborn and persistent. Repetition is key. Second key. The third key is you got to take your power back. You got to become a conscious creator. If you want to increase your abundance, you have to become a conscious creator. You cannot allow the past, old decisions, old beliefs, to come in and steal your freaking thunder and steal your freaking successes. That's what's happening. No one, I, I realize this now, I've been doing this for a long time, helping women really jumpstart their mindset, jumpstart their cash flow, you know, build businesses that are impactful, that are passion-based. Number one thing we work on is mindset. And... Um, Nobody would consciously screw themselves up or sabotage themselves. Nobody would do that. So it's unconscious. And the, the real key here, all right, let's say you make a goal. And okay, my goal is however much money a month or have this business where I get to travel or, you know, be an incredible mom to my kids, be an inspiration, you know, really live my purpose, whatever your goal is. Let's say it's over here. And you get on your bicycle, or you get in your car, or you get in a plane or a train or an automobile, and you start going towards your goal. And all of a sudden, this, I call them gremlins. This negative belief comes in. You know, not worthy. Who do you think you are? You're not smart enough. If you get, if, you, if you're successful, someone will come and swap you and steal your thunder. Your family's gonna wanna take it all. All this shit. It's like, it's like a spoke that comes right through your bicycle wheels and then you're on the floor bleeding all scraped up you know wipe out and you wonder you know why you're not at your goal so when i say becoming a conscious creator it's really the process of opening up taking a look at what's inside what's inside your cabeza what's inside your mind and eliminating these gremlins a proven, you need a proven process for finding what's in there. Consciously, bring it to consciousness. Okay, that's, un, that's not unconscious anymore. Wow, that is still inside my brain. Holy smokies. Get rid of that and let's put something new in there that really cements in and is aligned with your now present day vision for success. Those are the three keys. Number one, you gotta, you gotta up level your, your concept of yourself. It's everything. What you believe about yourself. Your beliefs are like, you know, I, I always talk about having a Ferrari. If you have a, let's say you had a Ferrari in your garage, believing in yourself is like the key that turns the ignition on. You're not gonna go anywhere if you don't believe in yourself. So having the right concepts of self, believing in yourself is the first key to increase your abundance. Second key is repetition is king. That's how you create new, effort, uh, new beliefs. And the third key is being a real conscious creator, not leaving this up to chance. There's nobody outside of you but you and the decisions that you make. And really taking a hold of that and, and deciding to be responsible for everything showing up in your life, right? Because it's, it's a reflection of a thought. It's a reflection of belief. And you can change that through repetition is king and new concepts of yourself. And if you really want to kick it in a high gear this year with me, I have an invitation with you, an invitation for you to join me and some amazing soul sisters in my 10K in 30 Day Skyrocket Your Confidence and Cash Flow program. We have taken it to a whole new level here uh, last year. We have an amazing team, an amazing process to take you step by step through undoing all these negative beliefs and helping you set yourself up and your business with clarity, crystal clarity about your messaging. Who are you in the world? How can you stand up and really stand out above the crowd and get recognized for the authentic vision, inspiration, wisdom, voice that you are, that you stand for? So we help you get clear about your marketing message, your stories, your offer, your packaging, how to get online, how to start attracting clients, how to use video, how to break through all these crazy self-doubt and you know, fear of being visible and fear of charging that much. And we teach you about sales. 
and everything you really need to be an inspirational leader, a woman's empowerment leader. This is for spiritual, soulful women, and um, we have an amazing program, and my invitation for you, if you really want to kick in high gear and you'd really like my help using these programs, especially, you know, how to imprint your subconscious, how to have, how to allow and open up to more abundance, if you'd like my help, my invitation for you is to apply now. And the reason I'm asking you to apply now is because very soon on my birthday, January 9th, the price is going up in incredibly. Uh, so if you've been following me for some time, maybe you've been watching the live webinars, you've been doing, I don't know, you've been watching me on YouTube or you've seen me on Facebook, you've been on my email list, you've kind of been like, mm, you know, mm, on the fence. Now is the time to act, my friends, because... Uh, in, in a couple of days here, my birthday, January 9th, the price will be going up considerably. So if you'd like my help, apply now. We have some amazing women that are joining us, and I hope you'll be one of them, because I guarantee you, if you don't do something different, you're bound to repeat the same things moving forward. If you don't do something different, if, you're, if you keep doing the same old thing over and over again and expecting different results, that's really the definition of insanity. And I don't want you to be insane. I want to celebrate phenomenal success for you, your business, your family this year in 2017. I know you are going to love this program. It, ha it brings me so much joy to be really walking and living my purpose and empowering women to be conscious creators. The ripple in the world, the ripple effect that happens as a result is mind-blowing. And I'd love for you to join me. If you've been following me for some time, go ahead, take action today. Don't, don't repeat the same old, same old. Make 2017 in an extraordinary year. I promise you will love the program. And uh, there should be a link somewhere here below this video to apply again in January on my birthday. The price will be going up considerably. So guys, I'm gonna end this video. I love you. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I hope you will join me in the 10K and 30 Day Skyrocket Your Confidence and Cash Show program this year. Have an amazing day.